Hi there, welcome to Grain TV. It's Tuesday, August 23rd, a down day in the markets. Let's take a look at Grain Edge's trading platform and see where we closed. In Chicago, wheat continues to bleed lower, giving up six and a half cents a bushel in Chicago. Uh, corn was off four and a half, although as much as six lower at one point, and beans in Chicago could not decide whether it wanted to be higher or lower, closed the day lower three and a half lower. News today continues to center around the results from Pro Farmers Crop Tour. This is day two. We'll talk about the results from day one and day two combined. But overall, today's numbers are looking at conditions in Nebraska and conditions in Indiana. Indiana looking very good according to Pro Farmer Tour results early this morning. Uh, in Nebraska, it's a much different story. In the case of corn, we're seeing some uh, discussion from some of the legs of the tour where they're seeing some potential yield losses from heat and from snapback as a result of wind and hail damage. It's pretty severe. So uh, overall, it's still a mixed bag, but uh, you know we're continuing to follow this. Let's take a look at what Pro Farmers numbers came up with yesterday for the entire state of Ohio and South Dakota. First of all, Ohio is the one that registered sort of the weakest problem in terms of corn yield. When we look at corn yield, we'll see uh, their projection by you, I'm sorry, by Pro Farmer is 148.9 uh, to be precise in this year's um, tour findings versus 148.3 last year. That differs quite dramatically from USDA. Their forecast this year is up 10 bushels to the acre from last year. So Pro Farmer is coming in after surveying Ohio and saying yields are on par with last year, USDA saying there's a big jump in yields from last year. So that is a big discrepancy. When we look at the rest of these numbers, Nebraska, which is uh, only uh, tentative at this stage, only the eastern, uh, east central part of the, corn, of the state reporting so far, but they're showing less yield potential than last year. But we'll need to see what tonight's numbers show. Uh, you know, USDA is looking for a modest uptick in yields there. Other states, Indiana and South Dakota, coming in higher than expected or higher than last year by Pro Farmer as well as USDA. Now, looking at soybeans, here we have really only Ohio standing out. Uh, again, a situation where the pod counts in Ohio were less than last year, USDA expecting an uptick from last year. But the other states so far showing much better potential than last year online or in line with what USDA is showing. So overall, this continues to be not anything uh, that is going to get the bull camp very excited. As we've seen the last few days, uh, we've had trouble holding on to any sort of gains, even in beans, where we've had strong underlying demand. Let's switch gears and take a look at the corn chart. Corn has been in sort of a, uh, a slow uptick over the last few weeks since USDA's crop report. But today and yesterday in particular started this selling and we find ourselves slipping out of the highs in that, um, excuse me, 343 range on Dees corn and starting to inch down below that. And I guess, you know, producers I know are starting to get nervous if they haven't been nervous for some time. We know a lot of producers are sitting on old crop corn, good yields coming down the pipe in terms of harvest this fall. So what does the potential look like when we have record corn yield years? And unfortunately, it doesn't look very promising, uh, you know, as we go forward into the rest of, uh, you know, into harvest and even post-harvest. If you look at the last three record yield years, these are 2014, 2009, and 2000. And four, and what you can see, these are marked out in different colors here. 2004 being the most deferred uh, time period over 12 years ago, but you know you can see that we had a very very flat bottom here, uh, just kind of grinding lower all the way from harvest all the way in the bottoming in around the first of November. But the more recent years, 2014, 2009. Those years we had more of a V bottom. It wasn't a dramatic V, but at least it was some sort of balance off the lows. But the lows didn't occur until uh, either early September or late September, depending on whether you're looking at uh, 2000 and 2009 being the early part of September was the bottom in these futures and uh, later part of September in the 2014 year. So, you know, if you're thinking this is going to be a year of record corn yields, which in my opinion it seems to be, there's nothing in the Pro Farmer Tour that suggests we're going to be sharply different from USDA, uh, at least at this juncture. And with the tour moving more to the middle of the country where yields are expected to be better, uh, it seems like time is running out for us to find any sort of real, real problems that may, us, may lead us to believe to a sharply different 
uh, crop forecast from USDA. With that in mind, you know, the lows may still be yet to come. We've talked about that 318 mark. We tested it briefly on um, uh, on the crop report day in September futures. We may have to go below that, especially with all the storage problems we're likely going to have come harvest time. So, you know, if that's a concern to you, you may need to be looking at some protection. Some people have crop insurance to utilize. Some people may want to play some uh, you know, some strategies with options on those. If you have any questions about how to manage this price risk, by all means, give us a call at 877-472-4607, or as always, visit us online at grainhedge.com to learn how you can take advantage of our marketing services. As a Grain Edge trading client, you'll get our technical alerts email first thing every trading day. Technical alerts is a powerful system that generates quality trading opportunities. Each trading opportunity shows a chart and analysis providing clear price targets and risk potential. Technical alerts look at historical chart formations and compare the current environment to the past to form concrete trading recommendations. The commodities covered by technical alerts includes grains, livestock, crude oil, currencies, bonds, and metals. Start your trading day with the most powerful insight into market direction and improve your trading today. Sign up at grainhedge.com to become a client.